everyone in today's video i am attempting to update my radio software um essentially i have been having an issue where my rear camera is occasionally working sometimes it is sometimes it isn't and today i had actually gone ahead and gone into the general settings for my radio so i'll share that with you after i start the car so you can see it all so when i'm in here and i'm clicking on setup and i'm going to general i'm coming across my model my sw version my firmware version and i actually went on the website and I checked out the SW version that I should have on Hyundai's update site. And it looks like I have the wrong version. I should have SWCN7.USA.D2V.003.200. Dot two two zero nine two seven. So, anyways, I went on this website, which I'll share with you. Hopefully, no one calls me while I'm sharing this information with you. But essentially, it's this website called it's like updatehunday.com and it's slash us slash en slash update notice pop up one slash nine eight three so here once i'm on the website i look um for this it says update guide for display audio gen 2v so it says like essentially depending on the vehicle and specification my screen may differ from the actual screen displayed. And I go ahead and I go to software download process computer, select download file from the following list that corresponds to by vehicle. So mine is a 2021 Hyundai Elantra SEL. And I scroll over and it says SW version right there. And then it says download. So I downloaded it already and I put it on a flash drive and it must be at least four gigs it says mine was just under four gigs and it says to essentially once you download it to your computer you put it onto this flash drive and if you're using Internet Explorer it will ask you to save the file if you are using Chrome the download would start automatically save the download file on your desktop or laptop note the file name and where it was saved cn7.zip from the desktop laptop open the downloaded vehicle zip file unzip or extract it insert an empty USB drive which I did for gigabyte minimum into the desktop laptop USB port, copy the zip files to the USB drive, which I did, and it says do not unzip extract this file before copying to the USB drive. And then it says in vehicle download instructions, follow the steps below to check the software version information over the display audio system. And it says, press the setup key, which I did. I shared that with you. And it says from there to tap general, which I did. And then it says the model and the SW and the firmware, which I shared with you. So it says if your vehicle installed SW version is the same software version as the update, no further action is necessary. If it is different, continue to the next step. So insert the USB device that contains those zip files into the USB port of my vehicle. So I have things like plugged in and such. I'm gonna need a flashlight because I got a lot of stuff down here. But I, I wanna share with you everything along the way. Hopefully you get a chance to see it. So there's my USB drive. So I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm going to insert it. Okay, now it's red. Okay, that means it's in there and it says tap the update button. So I'm going to tap the update button and hopefully everything works out right. And it says no features will be available during this update, including rear camera, which has not been working right, and my blue link. And I confirm it by clicking yes. And it says the update process will take 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Please leave your vehicle running and says do not remove the USB device until the update is complete. So this is what it's doing with the system update. And it's very like nail biting because I don't know what's gonna happen. But essentially what I did to, you know, come across this is I was um, going ahead and trying to fix whatever had happened with my rear camera. I actually took apart the trunk and it wasn't so bad, the top part, and I inspected all the cables and I inspected the wiring connectors. I unplugged them, replugged them back in, and I couldn't come up with any other case scenario besides there's something wrong with my radio head unit system. So I haven't been actually going in the dealer section of the dealership to get my regular oil changes. I have quite a bit of miles that I've acquired on the vehicle since ownership. And instead what I've been doing is I've been going to like the quick lube a lot and I'm sure that if I had actually taken the car in for regular oil changes with them, which it would have taken approximately like probably three hours each time to get my oil change, which I find very, very ridiculous and long waiting period, they might have gone ahead and said, hey, you know, you have an update that you must update your radio to. Um, but unfortunately the last time that I did bring my vehicle into them, and I want to say this was back in October of 2023, they said that there was no updates because I said, is there any updates available to check for, um, as far as things like this, because I had an issue in prior months concerning something else and I had to actually have them tap into the car via satellite to fix the issue and just just wait it out but as far as um this software download when i'm seeing the sw version it looks as though this isn't like a new new version when i was looking at those numbers but i don't know I, i'm not exactly sure but it says it's an update guide for display audio Gen 2V. What exactly does that mean? I'm, I'm not so sure, but all, all I can say is I'm just going with the flow of things. Who would have known that in addition to having to mechanically maintain your vehicle, you must electronically maintain your vehicle. So I'm updating the system with, I, I'm not sure exactly what, but I'm only on one of five regarding this update and it looks as though it's going to be at least another 10 minutes maybe until that happens. So all I did is um, I went on to a bunch of Hyundai websites to find this and this is the website that I came across and again, it's update. I can, I can copy it and just... Uh, you know, share with you the links while I'm waiting for this process to update completely. Because I also want to see whether or not, you know, it's it's going to work out well or what. So you know too. So this is the website that I went on to. It's https colon forward slash update 
www.hyundai.com slash capital U, capital S, slash capital E, capital N, slash update, capital N for notice, and then a capital P for pop, and then up, the number one slash 983. So that would be the website, like if your vehicle has a set update as far as the system is concerned, and then what you would simply do is check out your model, your vehicle. So it says vehicle and it says model. Now I didn't see um, a sub model part. So I categorized myself into the 21 to 22 Elantra because I didn't see like limited or anything else like that. I do see a hybrid, but it's the same for like the 2021 and 2022. Now, if you have any of these other vehicles, you may have an update. So you may want to see, like if, you're, if your system has been fluking in any way, it could be this. I'm not saying this system update is going to fix my problems, but it might. And while it's updating, I'm obviously not going to touch any of my buttons because it says, you know, update in progress, turning off power or ejecting my device that's down there is gonna cause issues so I don't want that to happen so I have to make sure I wait until the update is complete before I can move on but it's currently updating the system and I can't do anything about it so that's where that stands hopefully it's not that long if this is number one of five that's a long time so I may have to uh, may have to edit this video a bit and give you like a progress update and loop it all together so you can see it. And I'll try and toss in there like some of the times when I was frustrated with my camera too. Because if this is realistically the fix for my problem, I mean it's worth the time best at waiting in the car, wasting gas while the update is occurring but in the same perspective this is absolutely ridiculous that this isn't probably going to be the first time that I need to update my vehicle when was the last time that you personally bought a vehicle a newer vehicle with a rear backup camera and all of a sudden your rear backup camera didn't work one day that just sounds terrible and Unfortunately, you've driven too many miles, so you don't even want to attempt to bring it up to the dealer because, you know, they'll charge you. And they won't just charge you $100. Nowadays, it's $200 to just look at your car. And realistically, it's like five minutes they've looked at your car. And they already know the problem because they have prior warranted vehicles coming in for service to, you know go ahead and fix the same problem that you have, which is probably realistically only a software issue of some sort. So anyways, um, if this fixes it, that's great. I'm happy. You know, I'll leave it at that, but uh, I'm not sure what the real issue is. And I'm just hoping, hopeful that this is the issue. So we'll see. And I'll, um, update you back as I go from one to five you know, as far as the updates and how long I have the car running. Should have started a timer on that too. I don't have a timer yet, but I could go back in the video and then, you know, come up. I could start a timer now. Start a timer now and we'll see how long this whole update, you know, is taking plus the time I've been filming. filming. Yep, starting the timer now while I'm waiting and that'll run in the background. On top of the update it hasn't even switched over to two so hopefully everything's great all right and I'll loop back in a moment so now it looks like it's updating the GPS that's number 205 and what exactly that means I'm not so sure because normally with the GPS like it's controlled by my phone I thought so we'll see what number oh now it says number three is updating my modem huh 
updating my modem. Updating GPS was like lightning fast. One of five took a little while longer than I thought. Three of five seems fast. Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know. I'm so curious. Keep watching and find out. So here the car clicked. I heard a clicking noise at the speaker as it was updating my modem. How odd is that? If you see or hear something strange during the update, don't worry folks. It's very, very abnormally normal. Oh, now it's updating HD. As it's snowing outside again. Updating the HD. I'm just silently awaiting update five of five, whatever that may be. To anyone who has ever done this before, props to you. You're, you've done a really good job in life. Knowing to know how and what to do when it comes to your vehicle. For anyone who hasn't done this yet, I sure hope the dealer's helping you out. And we're almost at update five of five. Remember this update's in progress. It's updating Yukon. That's that's number five of five. Yukon. Hmm. So you better be calm because we're updating Yukon. Update on UCOM is taking quite a long time. And yet I'm still here. Update UCOM. From there I'm hoping it's it and I'm hoping everything works. Won't know until it's done. Remember the whole update process takes approximately 10 to 15 minutes to complete. Please leave your vehicle running and do not remove the USB device until your update is complete. The system will restart. So we're getting ready to restart here. Um, my USB drive, it stopped flashing, I turned on the radio, and then it brought this up and it says reading USB and it says confirm. It always says confirm. I have the radio and the media off. I'm going to unplug my USB port I assume but it's weird because in this upper right hand corner it says like a B with like an echo I guess that's for like my blue link and it didn't say that before if you watch any of my other videos you'll see it never saw you never saw that in the corner so I'm gonna click on setup and I'm gonna see general and I'm gonna look on the software says now it's updated to the new version as we talked about okay so the next step is obviously unplugging my USB drive I unplugged it 
My blue looks totally different now. It's not a lowercase b anymore. It's now an uppercase b, which is odd. Now I'm going to attempt to check and see if my rear camera works. Fingers crossed it does. I won't know until I push the button. It doesn't. It doesn't work. No. Um, highly upset now. So I'm going to uh, put it in reverse and see if it comes on then. Nope. So the camera is still not working, but the good news is the radio is updated to the latest software package version. What in the world? So that's where I stand. Um, I thought it was, I honestly thought it was a software reason for my camera not working. Now I'm thinking it's probably the whole head unit has to be replaced heard some other people talking about it um it's just very unfortunate that my vehicle is out of its 60,000 mile window even though it's within the five-year window so very very unfortunate anyways I updated my software on my radio head unit and if you're interested in seeing whether or not yours needs an update to the newest version feel free to go ahead and check out that website I have provided and check out in your general settings your display of what software you're using today. I hope you all enjoy this video. Again, please be sure to like and subscribe for more great videos such as this one. Thank you so, so much for all of your time watching. I do wish you a great, fantastic day and I will certainly catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye.